On Long Island, researchers are finding more ticks, and not just the ones carrying Lyme disease. A three-year study could lead to new ways to protect against bites. CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff reports. Glenn Andreev of Kings Park doesn't remember getting bitten, but his symptoms were unmistakable. No appetite. You couldn't taste food. And I was just getting weaker and weaker. Rushed to the hospital, staff recognized a tick-borne illness, but it wasn't Lyme disease. Babyosis. It's very close to malaria. It's nicknamed Long Island malaria. A lesser-known disease carried by local ticks, found by researchers in the Suffolk County lab. For three years, they've collected thousands of ticks across the county, identifying what diseases they cause. And while Lyme is the most prominent, they found eight diseases caused by three different types of ticks. These agents will cause human disease, and the prevention is the same. You just prevent tick bites, whether it's a, a black legged tick or a lone star tick or an American dog tick. The study tracked ticks by location, so now online residents and doctors can see which ticks and pathogens are prevalent in their area to determine what to test for after a bite. Suffolk's health commissioner says the results are reassuring, consistent with the rest of the state, but diseases can be serious. They all have very similar symptoms, fatigue, malaise, uh, low-grade fevers, just feeling uh, unwell, maybe a rash. They're debilitating. They, some may turn out to be chronic. And not every tick carries disease. The percentage varies by location. Some pathogens, it was zero. Other pathogens, it was 60 plus percent. Another reason to safeguard against all tick bites, wear light colored clothing, use repellents, walk along the center of trails, check clothing, and carefully inspect your body for ticks. The study's not over. It will be continued annually with thousands of ticks collected and evaluated in 10 locations. In Yap Pank, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.